The Memphis Grizzlies beat the Dallas Mavericks. The Minnesota Timberwolves beat the New York Knicks. What a crazy couple of games I got to watch tonight. I think Jaron Jackson is the Memphis Grizzlies X Factor. Torian Prince ripped the heart out of Julius Randle tonight, spoiling his 57 game performance in Madison Square Garden. We're going to get into all that in today's video, guys. But before we do, I just want to say we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new here and want to support this channel's growth, Please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this daily NBA content. We're going to start with the game you guys voted for the most tonight is the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Dallas Mavericks. And then in the second half of this video, we're going to be talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the New York Knicks because I did watch both of these games. I had one on my laptop and one on my TV screen. Again, we're going to start with the Grizzlies. Let's get started talking about them. So right off the rip, like I said, I really do think that Jaron Jackson Jr. is the X factor for the Grizzlies. Tonight, he finished with 28 points, four rebounds, and a block. And he was pretty efficient as well, going one for two from the three, and then 10 for 16 from the field. And he did all this in only 23 minutes. Taylor Jenkins was spreading his team as wide as possible, no sus just getting the minutes and everyone involved it was really great to see i mean you go down the roster jaron jackson's playing 23 xavier tillman's playing 26 dylan brooks is playing 29 you have your two elite ball handlers and trey jones and desmond bain playing 35 plus minutes and then everyone who played off the bench received 20 or more minutes except for john conchar who was only playing 18 minutes tonight i just think that taylor jenkins has been almost a shoe in for coach of the year the last couple seasons he is an amazing head coach and he has so much trust in his players back to Jaron Jackson I think he is really an all-star a real all-star because obviously he was voted in as an all-star but when he was voted in he was averaging 16 points over his last four games he's been averaging over 30 points and I think he's a real all-star when John Morant isn't on the floor he looks much more aggressive on the boards and in his offensive capabilities in the low post and of course you can't forget about his ability to defend although in this second quarter this game it was an awful couple of plays for Jaron Jackson he completely stopped going to the basket he picked up a flag in on Christian Wood and then the next possession he picked up a technical against Christian Wood after slapping the ball out of his hands he kind of just let his feelings get in the way and that happens Tyus Jones tonight did an amazing job he continued to take care of the ball very well and just proved that his game is so 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 polished tonight he finished with 16 points and six assists and only one turnover shot seven for 10 from the field and two for four from the three. I absolutely love Tyus's game. It's just so simple yet elegant. Really, really great job from him tonight. Not the best shooting night from one of the best shooters in the NBA, Desmond Bain. Shot seven for 17 from the field and one for seven, but he finished with 17 points, six rebounds and a steal. Just did a really, really solid job tonight of driving to the lane and playing bully ball. Like I said, he wasn't very finished. He turned the ball over a lot, had six turnovers. That's more than half the team had tonight, but very solid game from the Memphis Grizzlies, especially the last guy I want to shout out for the Memphis Grizzlies is my boy Santi Aldama. 20 points and 14 rebounds off the bench tonight. Absolutely monster impact from him tonight in this game. The Grizzlies did not have a great shooting night as they shot 45, 28, and 75. Terrible, terrible, terrible splits, but they managed to pull this one through, and a win is a win. On to the Dallas Mavericks. No Luka Doncic tonight, and you definitely kind of saw that in the fourth quarter, mostly. I don't know what happened to Kyrie Irving with his foot. I did see that he was hurting and not feeling good, but after he hurt his foot and chose and opted to stay in the game, he was 0 for 7. 0 for 7 in that fourth quarter. You do not hear that a lot from Kyrie Irving. Tonight, he had 28 points, four rebounds, and zero assists. He had two blocks and two turnovers and a steal as well. He was having a really solid night up until that fourth quarter. No idea what happened. It was really great to see Maxi Kleber start tonight, even though he had no offensive production whatsoever other than a couple free throws. 
His ability on the defensive end is just really what I love about his game. Tonight, Josh Hardy and Christian Wood had some really, really solid production off the bench as they each had a 20 piece and combined for 40. Christian had 20 points, six assists, nine rebounds and a three pointer. Josh Hardy knocked down four three pointers and dished out four assists to go with it. Really solid production off the bench tonight from them. But Tim Hardaway Jr., Davis Bertans, terrible job tonight shooting. Same with Reggie Bullock. You guys want to combine two for 11 from three-pointer. The Mavs shot 30% from three tonight, but 95% from the free throw, which was really great. Honestly, the Mavs don't know what happened, you guys. I guess you can call this one a loss due to Kyrie Irving's injury because you were leading going into the fourth quarter and then you got outscored by 17 29 to 12 in that fourth quarter just a terrible job to be honest with you guys i'm done talking about this game i'm i'm not a mavs fan but i'm kind of butthurt to see the memphis grizzlies steal this one because the mavs are fighting for that playoff spot and with the timberwolves winning tonight it's just not really the best thing all things considered for them but we're going to move on to this other electric game tonight we saw the timberwolves and knicks battle at madison and square garden so like i said torian prince ripped the heart out of julius randall dude went eight for eight from three point land in 12 for 13 from the field he finished with 35 points and five rebounds tonight absolute monster he he was one three pointer away from setting an nba record for most threes consecutively made without a miss it would have been really astonishing and it's really funny when you look at their team they shot 58 percent from three tonight but outside of torian prince you look and you see one for two oh for two oh for two oh for to it just hilarious to me how poorly the team shot other than him and Jaden McDaniels and Mike Conley they shot three for five and two for three respectively from the field tonight was just an absolute amazing win for the Timberwolves you had seven people almost eight Nikhil Alexander had eight points tonight but you had seven people with double digit points tonight Torian Prince like I said amazing job tonight masterclass from downtown big shot after big shot including the biggest shot of the game in my opinion to kind of put the dagger in the Knicks after Kyle Anderson slapped that ball out of Julius Randle's hands and just and just sucked the soul no sauce out of the Knicks and everyone in Madison Square Garden if you guys don't know what I'm talking about basically what happened was Jaden McDaniels put up a shot when it was 137 to 134 he missed it Julius Randle grabbed the offensive rebound Kyle Anderson tapped it out Mike Conley got the offensive rebound now he drives in dishes it to Torian Prince Torian Pence goes up hits the layup 139 to 134 with only 11 seconds left truly a heartbreak moment for the Knicks. Nas Reed, great minutes off the night tonight. Jaden Noel, great min sorry, Jalen Noel, great minutes off the bench tonight. Mike Conley did an amazing job of being a vet and leading this team. Even when the Knicks were rallying back and took that lead in the fourth quarter, he had 24 points and 11 assists tonight. Like I said, Kyle Anderson was huge on the offensive glass tonight. Almost got a double-double at 10 points and nine rebounds. Amazing job for the Timberwolves tonight. As for the Knicks, Julius Randle, you were six points away from setting the NBA record or Knicks franchise record for most points scored in a regulation NBA game. Carmelo Anthony was obviously leading that and still is leading that at 62 points. 57 points on really great efficiency, 8 for 14, 9 for 29 from the field. So 8 for 14 from 3, I should say. Really sad loss tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. This one really does hurt for the Knicks, especially because Julius picked up that technical at the end of the game. You could just see how frustrated he was. You saw him hitting the scorer's table over and over again, just very pissed off. Jalen Brunson tonight, really solid night, 23 points, 10 assists, did a really good job of helping rally this team in the fourth quarter. I think RJ Barrett did not shoot the ball enough tonight. And on that turnover, Emmanuel quickly shot it too much. Emmanuel quickly, while he had 19 points off the bench, he was he was two for seven from three and six for 16 from the field and he had some terrible shots in the bottom three minutes of that isaiah hartenstein great minutes off the bench tonight had seven sorry eight huge rebounds off the bench tonight josh hart had a really solid game tonight 
all in all i just feel like the knicks did not capitalize on what they had it was 125 to 121 with like four or three minutes left in that fourth quarter and they just did not capitalize enough on that lead i know it sounds like oh it was only a four point lead a two possession game yada 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 if you guys were watching that game you knew they had all the chances in the world to put this game away but it just seemed like especially with them the timberwolves not even doubling julius randall they just had way too many chances to let this one go. But what do you guys think? Which one of these games was more entertaining if you caught them? If you did not catch either of them, I definitely recommend going back and watching the highlights. If you made it this far, you know I appreciate your support as always. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay happy, healthy, and blessed. Peace.